This time we're in the tropicals, and this is a year-round thing, but fall and through the winter, our garden reverts to inside, so we have all the houseplants in the tropicals, and it, it enhances the atmosphere in your home. It cleans the air, it makes it smell better, it brings life into your home. There are a few things that we do need to know, though. They're all living things, and so they have the requirements of life, and that means light and water, heat and nutrients. Your normal heat in your home is adequate warmth. Light, though, we can't just stick them in the far corner of the room where it looks best. They do need to have some light by the window. As much light as you can give them, more is better. Full sun for the flowering things and the really colorful foliage need brighter light. Uh, lower light areas, there are some plants for that, but they do need to be near the window. So we have to keep in mind the requirements of the plant. Water is another major requirement, and it's not often always how much or how often, it's the quality of the water. And a lot of water sources do have calcium or lime in it, a lot of city water does. From cities that derive their water from the rivers that come from the Rocky Mountains, there'll be lime in the water. Uh, Edmonton is lucky they don't have that so much. In Red Deer we do, probably Calgary a bit. But, um, so there you're better off collecting rainwater in the summer. You bring in some clean snow and melt it for the winter. It's just like rainwater, that's the best water source for your plants. Or distilled water, bottled water, as long as it's RO. Reverse osmosis water works very well, it makes a world of difference between that and the tap water. There's also fertilizer. All plants do need to be fed. Every package has three numbers on a fertilizer package. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, always in that order. How much do I use? Well, I find it the easiest to put a teaspoonful, if it's these numbers, this strength, that tells you the strength of it. A teaspoonful per gallon of water, you use that every time you water. You don't have to keep a calendar or a chart, it's the easiest way. If those numbers are half that size, you would put twice as much in. If they're higher, you put a little bit less in. Through the darkest winter months, you can tone it down a little. Through sunnier, warmer, active growth months, you increase it a little. And that little bit of information will grant you far more success with your houseplants.